Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, I went ahead and pulled some cards. Today is the Divine Masculine Feminine Reading, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. We got Kutumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Okay, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. After doing last week's reading with these cards, I really, really loved the message, and I got a lot of, like, really positive feedback, and I think you guys are really going to, like, um, the fact that a couple of the cards that came out for last week are actually back here, except for they're showing up in the future. So um, we also have Gaia came out, um, Earth Connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth and stay grounded. Okay, so a lot of us are being asked right now to, you know, a lot of people are doing humanitarian projects and I feel like the divine masculine and feminine both and I kind of just, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like uh, the two of you are definitely mirroring each other so uh, take what resonates, discard the rest and if it doesn't fit, it's not your message today, um, check back another day and hopefully I'll have a message there for you. Okay, so with Gaia, the next card you have is Master Buddha, Increased Awareness. Uh, deep connection, trust your inner voice. The next card we have is Radha. We had this last week, as I said, soul flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship harmony and healing. And the next card you have here is Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance, obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. So you guys, what I'm seeing here and what I've what this is all about is I feel like for the both of you, you have definitely been gaining a lot of wisdom and I feel like it's just wisdom on like on a grander scale, you know, whether it has to do with like earthly issues, uh, it's definitely has a lot to do with your spiritual path and it has a lot to do with your uh, upbringing as well. I feel like with the, the, the cloak of wisdom, I was reading in the book and it was talking about, it says knowledge is learned, wisdom is remembered. And I feel like, you know, in the past, you know, that maybe the divine masculine was unable to remember who your soul was. I felt like there was a, a real deep soul connection, but I almost feel like it was so deep that the, the masculine could not trust it. So I do feel like the masculine has definitely been doing his work. And I feel like, you know, it's almost kind of funny. I look at it like he's like cleaning himself up right now. See how his hair is up. He's well groomed. And I feel like he is getting ready to move forward on this relationship. Um, but I feel like, you know, it almost reminds me, I don't know why I'm feeling like the elephant right now. Never mind. <laughs> As I speak of the elephant, it's right here. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> you know, but the elephant is all about being able to go back to many lifetimes before and the elephant is all about you know remembering uh where you come from and remembering your family you know an elephant can walk for days weeks months on end and it will continue to walk until it gets back to the place that it was born in and, and even pre in past lives okay so with kutumi here it says you are in a real cloak of wisdom now like kutumi you have been on a wandering path trying to find answers through study and the insights of others but now you are uncovering the truth of your own soul your soul is leading the way and you are being encouraged to follow the fog is clearing the light has come and it is shining on you your soul is saying yes it is your cheerleader follow it and trust the endless wisdom within you go 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 so i feel like the universe is really hammering down on the divine masculine you know he has the wisdom he knows what he needs to be doing and i feel like you know all he has to do whether you know his divine for some of you maybe your divine masculine is moving moving right now to be closer to you even if you've never met this person for some of you this person is definitely moving across the world and this person will be moving to um you know your city town state wherever you are um and that's how the two of you will find and i feel like you know there is some there's a higher power that is guiding this masculine to his feminine and you know she is holding the world like she has patience 
You know, she's not trying to move forward. She is grounded. She's working on her earthly, you know, practical, tangible mat uh, matters in her own personal life is what I'm seeing here. All while the masculine is working on mastering his emotions, mastering the art of the wisdom that he has gained throughout this journey. So I feel like the two of you are definitely, you know, working on humanitarian projects. Um, I could definitely see that, but I feel like there is such a, when I see deep connection and then I see Radha here, the soul, to, uh, the, I'm sorry, soul flame i feel like it's you know like i said in the last reading on last saturday it was like a moth to a flame so you may want to go back and listen to that one because rada was here as well as lord ganesh and i feel like with these two let, let's go ahead and read master builder and i just i don't want to read the whole story i just kind of want to read um, i'm not feeling guided to read the whole story this time it says you are moving beyond the illusions that fear has created so that you can become more focused on your priorities and what is serving you on this path all suffering eventually comes to an end and acknowledging how you really feel and what occurred in order for you to feel this way will help you move beyond it call on master buddha now to help you remember that you are a part of something that is greater than suffering the wheel of karma is turning in your favor and all of your acts of kindness and goodness will benefit you thoughts may arise now that solve issues in your life home relationships or work they are being sent to you from your inner teacher the buddha within so i feel like you know so there's the you know with the cloak of wisdom with kutumi kutumi and the master buddha i feel i feel like this masculine has definitely and the feminine as well we all have the masculine masculine and feminine within us and i feel like you know whatever fears have arisen in the last you know with within this you know coming into union for a lot of you i feel like those things are finally being overcome i feel like you know uh, this masculine and feminine are really finding their place in this world at this time and I think that, you know, with the wisdom that both of them have gained from, you know, if you know who this divine masculine is, um, and even if you don't, you have triggered something within, okay, within this other person to, you know, be better, to eat better, to be healthier, to, you know, work on their, you know, their livelihood and the, their career and work on their mental and emotional health. And I feel like, you know, with the Gaia here, you know, we do have this new moon in Virgo as well. And, you know, Virgo is all about the earth and it's all about the practicality. It's all about the work um, that we, and in your service to the world, you know, your service to humanity. Um, and that is what Virgo is all about. And I would know I'm a Virgo, you know, so it, I mean, this has a lot to do with, you know, what I'm dealing with as well. And it's like, <clears throat> but I know that at the very end, it's like bringing heaven on earth. And I feel like, you know, we are all able to manifest what it is that we want when we are in alignment and we can come out of that fear state of, you know, like the things that, you know, have happened to us in the past. And, you know, and I'm not going to say that you don't have any reason to feel this way because they are, you know, founded uh, in the, in something that has it has happened to you in the past and it's a trigger but that's why this is here is to you know rile it up and, and burn it out that's what the flame is here for is to just allow it to burn Radha let's go ahead and read Radha so Radha Loving union, connection, and relationship harmony are key at this time. It's important to remember, though, that relationships won't make you whole. So if you're doing this, you know, just to have your other, you know, the other side, you know, make you happy, you have to understand that all those things that you are seeking outside of yourself for are all within. And as you find, thank you, Spirit, did you hear that horn honk? Uh, they're all in here. The gratitude, love, happiness, um, all of those things are literally within you and I feel like so often I watch a lot of people and I just see I'm watching a feather fall as we speak outside of my window um, you know we always seek, you know, I see so many people and I used to do it. I was guilty of it, you know, until I got this thing or until I got in this relationship or until I got uh, A, B, C or D, I couldn't be happy. I couldn't find it within myself. And I used to drive myself crazy. Funny enough, there's a car right here, you know, that's loud and, and it's obnoxious. <clears throat> and that's how I felt within myself. But it was this squeaky wheel. Hear that? 
And I had to really realize that I was the common denominator of my sadness and all the negative stories I used to tell myself and tell others. And it's like, you know, now I can actually see the beauty in life. And I realized that all of those things were all within me and I could have had those at the very beginning. So, you know, you have to understand that this is a very individual journey and it's not the other person that's going to come in and make you happy because what the other person is going to do is come in and trigger all the things that are still wrong okay and yeah it may all be all butterflies and lollipops to begin with but they're here to constantly um, help you evolve and the two of you if you can help each other evolve now that doesn't mean you come into a relationship and you nitpick that's a Virgo thing by the way if we're not nitpicking uh, excuse me <clears throat> nitpicking you means we don't fucking care so therefore as soon as a Virgo stops nitpicking you or they stop even talking to you like we don't give a shit anymore we're just kind of like okay well we tried and now you're not listening so we gotta go you know so I that's kind of what I'm seeing is like not that we need to nitpick at each other but at the same time you know it's teaching people how to treat you and I feel like this you know this masculine and feminine have both been on a journey of self-discovery and, and and increasing their awareness not only about relationships which you know yes this is a relationship reading but it's relationships with the the world relationships with the earth the relationship with that you have with food the relationship that you have with you know what you feed yourself on social media you know it's like if you're constantly reading negative 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 that, that's that's you're feeding your soul that shit and honestly like then you're gonna come out and all you're gonna do is just drench negativity everywhere make sure that you are still positive in the midst of all that and you still have you know 50% positive shit to say okay so maybe that's one of the things that you guys needed to do a lot of you guys need to do work on your abundance at this time and I feel like you know, rediscovering a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. And I feel like for the both of you, that has a lot to do with even just your family and friends. And I really, I feel what is happening right now is you're needing to cherish the people that you have in your immediate sphere at this time. Instead of like, you know, with all these retrograde planets and Mars just now going into retrograde, you know, what spirit is really guiding me to say is the fact that you need to cherish, look around you at the friends and the people that you have at this very moment. It's like, you know, there's a lot of you who are here right now because you're hoping and wishing for that relationship and to come in. And yes, it's coming. But you have to really look around and go, you know, I really love having this person as a friend. Like last night, you know, I... It had been a really long time since, you know, just it was so impromptu where a friend was like, hey, let's go out and have sushi. And I was like, OK, I haven't eaten sushi in a long time. So I was like, OK, you know, and I just went down and sat and just had a girl talk for like hours and lost track of time. And I mean, I do that every weekend with my girlfriend, Melissa. What up, Melissa? <laughs> you know, and it's wonderful. It's like, and really building on those relationships and building on the relationships that you have with your family and really cherishing those people for being here and, and thanking them and allowing them to know that, um, that you're grateful for them. And I am like, uh, for me to be, I've only been on this island now three years. I have made some of the most amazing acquaintances and friends and, and honestly, family. You know, I've got Sanda out there who is just a bright light. I've got my girlfriend, Joyce, and, you know, I've got Cherie, and I've got, you know, my daughter, Saley, and I've got, you know, I've got and so many others and that I just am so grateful for and and clients that I have now turned into family. And it's like, if and with the, that fact, it, like, opens up that heart center and shows the world she you know this person is grateful for the things that she has in her life and you know if something else comes along you know the soul flame this twin you know I'm not looking for a twin flame for me I'm looking for a life partner I don't want a twin flame twin flames come with lessons so do soulmates you know they come with valuable lessons not that life partners don't either but I've been doing a lot of work on myself and I will continue to do work on myself but 
I'm ready for peace too, you know? I'm ready to for that peace in my life and just for, you know, some, not that things are going to be easy by any means. I know that there is still work to be done and your job never ends. My job never ends because I have to go out and experience all these wonderful things so that I can come back and share how I got through them with all of you, you know? So really going at it like that and I feel like that is the wisdom that is being learned in all of this. And, you know, I feel like sharing my story, you know, so that people understand like, when I say that I'm on this lot that on this, you know, with you, I am genuinely on this with you. And I, I realize, you know, the abundance that I have in my life. And with that, the, the person that does come in is only going to be, um, I'm going to feel like it's, it's, not that I'm complete, but that another, you know, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a bonus. It's a bonus is what, yeah, it's a bonus. It's like when these two come together, that's when their abundance is going to come together. That's where the power comes in. That's when the world aligns for these two people to come in because they bring what they have learned along their journey in with one another and that's why it's like you have this increased awareness and I think for some of you you can definitely feel that this person uh, this is coming in like you just have this overwhelming knowledge that this other party is coming in I opened it right to Lord Ganesh how funny okay it's important at this time to move beyond the limitations of it's not meant to be and focus on if this is for my highest good then the universe will take me there safely Ganesh is not only bringing a clear light to your external situation but also helping you clear up any inner conflicts when obstacles arise know that they are just reminders that you care about your path and that you have the ability to change your current situation Ganesh is here to help you thank him for clearing the way to increase your connection to him and may want to chant in sanskrit oh, oh gam okay i'm not even going to you guys can please look that up because i don't want to butcher it um yeah i'm not going to butcher it feel free to look up that card so lord ganesh um and find out the uh sanskrit that you can chant if you would like uh with that said you guys i feel like you know what is happening is the obstacles that have been keeping the two of you apart are finally like being taken apart okay so if there are exes that have been getting in the way those are being slowly but surely the universe is helping those those people in situations to just go and you know if it's you know a job that you've always bitched about maybe now you've been fired from your job or your store has been closed down and maybe it's time for you to do something online and all the things that you've always wanted to do in the first place that you didn't do so I feel like you know all these things that have been standing in the way maybe there's a family member that has been ill and you know this person is finally getting well and now you can change your focus onto like what you want to manifest for your life you know it's really seeing the forest through the trees and I feel like you know with how the world has been going I think that people have really been taking and what I'm seeing is it's really increased your awareness into how connected we all are on this earth and I feel like that this you know the both of you have been you needed to go the, through this part of the journey by yourself so that you could come back um, as a whole, come back whole, you know, and, and find peace and solace. Because no matter what, the two of you will always come back together on this journey. And I feel like the two of you have a mission on this earth with one another and I've mentioned that in multiple other readings I feel like the two of you definitely have a mission for some of you your mission is to travel the world together and maybe go help clean up certain areas for others of you you have a mission look at we have the lotus flower a couple of times in this reading you have a mission to help others out of their darkness and to see the light for others of you you have a mission to highlight what true love is all about so that other people who are sitting in their toxic situations look at your relationship and go wow I strive to be that and then it gets them out of their routine and that's what your part of the journey was 
for all of you, you have a mission on this earth. If you are in this reading right now and you are being guided to this reading, even if you have no one in mind, you know, claim this reading, claim it as your own and, and continue to do the work. And I'm telling you, um, I feel like it's only a matter of time when you're in this place of surrender and you have gained all the wisdom that the world has to offer, I feel that the two of you are definitely in alignment for coming together. But I feel like with that too, we have on the both of these, if you notice, the word trust comes up twice. See that? Trust and then trust. Or I'm sorry, right there, trust. And this one is saying trust. So I feel like for the masculines, the masculines were having a tough time trusting their inner knowing. And so, because, and maybe they were having a trust, tough time trusting the divine feminine um, and didn't, or didn't know who to trust. You know, maybe this masculine has been hurt so much. And I feel like, you know, I feel like for the feminine, she's been carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders for so long. And I feel like the divine feminine needed to go ahead and drop that. You know, you don't have to take the weight of the world on. And I feel like the masculine that's going to come in and, and th this, this person that is supposed to be here, if this person has ghosted you and this person is doing, you know, like cheats and lies and is abusive i'm not talking that is not the divine masculine that is the distorted masculine this masculine has graduated this masculine is learning the lessons this masculine is learning how to trust their inner voice and learning how to trust their own intuition as well and learning how to trust this divine feminine But this feminine needed to rediscover parts of herself, you know, so I think back in the day, you know, I, I see this as the same person. It's like maybe in the past she was just plain, you know, holding the weight of the world on her shoulders and, uh, and then now he sees her as this goddess. And it's like, he's, he's drawn to that. And so he's like cleaning himself up. Maybe in the past he was like, you know, just scruffy and didn't, you know, maybe for some of you, you know, he didn't shave or whatever. I don't know. I like that. <laughs> they don't, but you know, I don't like him, you know, totally scruffy, but I like that five o'clock shadow, you know? Um, but he sees that she's evolving and they see that she's so much more colorful now. So it's like, as you know, it's almost like, you know, the feminine is really seeing her worth and i think in the past it was like she was you know just trying to stay grounded and trying to do all the right things but i feel like and she always has but i feel that in this journey she now knows her worth she because i'm looking at her next to the infinite abundance and I feel like the feminine is really learning her worth in all of this. And it's like, you were worth so much when, if for those of you who met your divine masculine, uh, when the two of you met and separated, you were already worth a lot. And now you're worth even more. Because you've gained so much wisdom on this journey of self-discovery, of independence. So again, if you are not in a relationship, uh, you don't know who your divine masculine is, that's okay. Because your souls know one another. It's the wisdom from within. It's like there's these invisible telephone wires that are just connected to humans. It doesn't matter what part of the world you are in right now. This person is coming in. I don't, it, it doesn't matter if they live down the street. It's just, this person is definitely coming in. I feel like the two of you definitely have a mission with one another. Let's go ahead and see. Let's 
Let's look on see where the divine masculine is. Let's pull a couple cards on him. Spirit, please show me. Okay, yeah. All right, I did say it. Yeah, he's going through the awakening, you guys. Okay, whoa. For some of you, this masculine wants to bring you a gift. Okay. So in the past, the, okay, wow, this is beautiful. I think in the past, the, the divine masculine stayed within his comfort zone, okay? Choosing things or people that feel familiar, feeling in control of their environment. So what did I say? It's somebody who definitely feels familiar to you, okay? Thank you, spirit. Another reason why he was staying in his comfort zone was because he had his toxic addictions. Maybe this person had substance abuse issues um, or behaviors that they used to numb their feelings, such as, such as drug, sex, gambling, or alcohol. So for some of you, maybe in the past, your, uh, your masculine had addictions that they are trying to overcome. And I feel like with that said, he needed to go out. Remember I said he was going on a journey on, him, on his own. For He's on a journey of self-discovery. He's soul searching. He's trying to go within right now. And I think in the past, because of, the, of his addiction, addictive behaviors uh, I, and him trying to stay in his comfort zone because of fear, that is the wisdom that he has gained. He's coming out as a warrior, you guys. Awakened warrior of the heart, surrendered to ego and struggle, reconnected with the heart and the divine, has returned to love. So I feel like that's what he has been soul searching is going within and saying like, I am trying to find that love. That's what I was talking about before. Like it's all in here and it's up to you to activate it. You know, nobody else can activate it for you. You have to activate it on your own. And when you do, that's part of the awakening process. Change in behavior. Because when you realize that you are in control of your reality and what goes on within you, whether you're happy, you're sad, you're mad, you're glad, it doesn't fucking matter. That is what the masculine is realizing is that he is awakened to that, that he is in control and therefore he is ready to come in like a freaking warrior and fight for this connection. Awakening, change in behavior, slowing down to reflect, deepening emotional well-being, shift in priorities and values, transformation of the inner world. You know, with Mars in retrograde in Aries, it's really a shift in the ego. It's a shift in the ego. It's a shift in the way that you used to look at things. It's a shift in the way that you guys used to, you know, maybe you used to lash out in relationships. And now you're learning how to control your anger, you know, because, you know, lashing out is not sexy. And, you know, for others of you, it's one thing to lash out and it's another thing to be passionate. You know, for me, I've had to have some passionate conversations where I'm just like, you know, I'm done. And people, you know, they'll put a crazy vest on you or they'll say, oh, they yelled at me. No, I was passionate, you know, and, you know, but everybody has their degree of understanding, you know. But I do believe that, you know, with that said, I feel like with the cloak of wisdom that the divine masculine is coming into at this time and with the awakening, he is realizing that his feminine is a gift. For some of you, I think that you are going to get a gift or receive a gift from your masculine. Maybe it could be a gift of flowers because I am definitely seeing the flowers here. But I do see a gift that is coming in. And like I said, I feel like maybe the gift is this person is traveling in to come and see you. Maybe for some of you, this person's just going to show up. But the masculine has to come out of his comfort zone, you know, in order to make this happen. And I do feel that he is really activating that warrior spirit from within. Let's find out where the divine feminines are. What's up with that? Whoa. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, girls. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Guess what? I love it when spirit just validates everything that I've been saying. Let's get two more cards. Whoa. 
catch you dying to find out what these cards are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my God, ladies. At the bottom of the deck, I think we just got this the other day, we got faith. The feminines, you are just working on having your faith. You are working on staying connected to the divine. You are staying connected and working on your abundance. You are working on your soul tribe. You're really coming, like it was what I was talking about at the beginning. You are working on your soul tribe. You are building these relationships with your divine feminines. You are uh, inspiring other women to continue on this journey. For those of you, for those who have wanted to give up, you know, a lot of you have been working on your suppression. Maybe you've been suppressing emotionally numb, not allowing oneself to think or feel things, bottled up emotions. You know, it's really funny. Um, you know, he's got toxic addictions and you've got the suppression depression. So I feel like for some of you, you know, you have been working on like just allowing that to, instead of suppressing your feelings, really delving in and tapping in and, and staying connected and working on being grounded. So when things trigger the feminine, the feminine can actually just go put her feet in the grass and say, you know what, give me a minute and coming back and saying, Hey, and maybe that's, you know, them setting boundaries with friends, family, their soul tribe at this time. And what are they doing? Divine feminine. So where the masculine got the warrior, we have the divine feminine and the masculine is coming after his divine feminine. He is the warrior, sacred feminine journeyed back to self. And so that is what a lot of you are doing right now. Congratulations, ladies. You are really, really on to the next level of, you know, this, this journey, you know, this journey has not been easy for any of you. It is really taught. I mean, the masculine and the feminine, it has taught the both of you, uh, a lot of lessons in life and the next card you got is lesson valuable lessons needed to make self whole again okay so I feel like you know you at it, it was like the feminines didn't feel whole without their masculine and it's like you know you and that's where the divine feminine and the lessons come in is the lesson is you're a divine feminine when you can come in and balance that that energy within you it's that yin and yang within yourself it is you know not going out not blaming the masculine or anyone else for your rises and falls in life you know and really coming into your power and that is what i'm seeing with the way that she is standing there and i feel like there is a lot of women who are on board that are watching you rise and you are rising to the top at this time and you need to continue Continue to rise and to have faith you know even if this uh, divine masculine which is what I'm seeing is how he just kind of sits in his comfort zone you know and and he, he but he's learning his lessons he's going within and again he is cherishing the family and the friendships and you know and he's starting to realize you know who the toxic people is in his life because toxic addictions can also be other people you know, you're addicted, like maybe your, your mom is toxic and all she does is yell and scream and you just go, oh, well, that's just my mom. You know, you hold her accountable. I don't want to be around a toxic person. And I mean, this may sound mean and I'll go ahead and share my story, but my mom did some things in my past that were unforgivable at the time. And still to this day, most people would never forgive their mother for what my mom did. And, you know, it took me six years to go back and even talk to her. And I finally... I was in love with somebody and I, and my, this relationship just kept breaking up and breaking up. And it was like, oh my God, I realized like, I've got to go back and make amends with my parents. I have to go back and, and you know, it doesn't mean that I have to have them in my life, but I have to go back and try and understand why, what happened and then come to my own conclusion and learn forgiveness for myself first and foremost, because when it comes right down to it, I chose this lesson. I chose 
these trials and tribulations, I said before I stepped foot into this existence that I would o- overcome all of these obstacles and then go out and teach others how to do it and show people that, you know, it, it's like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die when you're still angry with your parents. You have to go out and, I mean, you have to find some form of forgiveness because you're only going to manifest in accordance to the vibration that you're putting out there. So if you got mommy daddy issues, he's going to have ex wife issues, you know, baby mama issues and so the two of you like are just at this constant battle between your parents and his baby mama so really think about those things because you don't want those that's like where the breaking the cycle and where the awakening comes in and where you're rising above because you're not in that distorted feminine anymore where you're blaming your mommy and daddy or blaming your ex or blaming your past job or blaming you know your landlord for kicking you out stop blaming people for your unfortunate circumstances Again, you are the common denominator, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. I went on that. Uh, I've went back to talk to my mom. It was six years ago, and it's taken me, you know, five, six years ago. It's taken me that long to like. It took me a long time before I could even call her mom or even say the words "I loved you." You know, and so it takes time. It's all in divine timing. But now I'm to that point where I realize that, you know, everything that I went through was a gift. And even though it looked like hell on the outside, it was that too was a gift, you know. And so that's part of the self discovery that for me I have undergone. And I know for a lot of you, you know, there's a reason why you're attracted to this video right here, right now is because, um, you too have gone through something similar. And so you got to go back and you've got to clean up all of those things and, and really, you know, work on that soul tribe, work on your friendship groups, work on, you know, uh, working with the other divine feminines in your life, work on being a better friend you know if you're the kind of friend who is always bitching at other people or you don't answer the phone think about that and then you're pissed off because he doesn't answer his phone to you well you're only getting what you put out so if you're that type of person and then you're mad because people ghost you you're the ghoster so change it work on that you know find the wisdom in that and overcome it and realize that you're only able to like you're bringing in what you're putting out okay so rise above that <laughs> that's part of the wisdom um i think that some of this gift is that the masculine really is watching this this feminine rise i just got that like again, I feel like he he used to see her like as purity and you know someone who was like just the earth mother, but now he sees her in such a like a star like existence, and that's what I get out of the soul flame. It's like and spirit keeps saying it over and over and over again. It's moth to a flame, moth to a flame. It's like he's drawn to her. But he needs to open his eyes. See how he's got his eyes closed there? He's got his eyes closed there. Eyes closed there. Can't even see his face there. And his eyes are closed there. And maybe the eyes being closed have everything to do with the addictions from the past. So it's time to open your eyes, masculine. It's time because the feminine, look at it. She's got her eyes wide open. She's got her eyes wide open. She, even in these, even though she's suppressed some energy, she's definitely got her eyes wide open. You know? Well, she's got her eyes closed there, but not as many times as the divine masculine does. And there she's got her eyes open and she's doing her work. She's definitely doing her work right now. This ma this feminine, you know, you feminines, you're very sexy. The masculine sees you as beautiful. He sees you as sexy. He sees you as someone that is a gift. He sees you as, um, he sees you as abundance. He sees the fact that he could definitely move forward in a relationship with you. And he is definitely gaining the wisdom in all of that. And he already knows the answer that he seeks, but he has to learn how to trust what he knows. 
Spirit, Spirit, please show me what messages does the Divine Masculine, what does he want to say? I've had very vivid dreams about you. I do believe that. Maybe that's with his eyes closed. Uh, or maybe he's fantasizing about you. Um, I'm, trying, uh, I'm trying to trust in Divine Timing. Okay. I think that when the two of you guys finally come together, Spirit... I think that he's trying to gain the courage right now to move forward and get out of his comfort zone. He may have, he may believe that, you know, he's waited too long for those of you who know this person. Yeah, I'm making a plan to come back to you, okay? So I feel like for some of you, this person believes that they've waited too long. Um, but I do believe that they're trying to make a comeback, whether they, you know, for some of you, maybe he uh, emails you or texts you. For others of you, I think that the two of you are, uh, one of you is watching the other one. Maybe they're watching. I feel like the masculines could definitely, because I'm seeing him with like behind the shadows, uh, watching over the feminine's social media. Making a plan to come back to you, huh? But they're trusting in divine timing. I keep... <laughs> you guys, I can't make this shit up. I keep a close eye on your social media. <laughs> Too much. Two more messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Okay, there's one. I can't get you out of my head. Yeah. And I think for some of you, this person, you know, they listen to music. When they're listening to music, they it reminds them of you. Maybe it's music that the two of you used to listen to together. Um, and this person just cannot get you out of their head. And I think that, you know, for some of them, that's why they, you know, especially when they drink. But others of you, it's they're not trying to numb themselves because they can't get you out of their head. For some of you, they're total stoners. Like, look at his eyes. <laughs> I can't help but notice that, you guys. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, that's just how it is. And the masculine wants to tell you that you are so beautiful. He really sees the beauty in you. He may have only seen you as this before, but I'm telling you, he sees you as a goddess. He sees you as someone who is sexy, who is someone who is on the rise, someone who is hardworking, and someone that they want to have a family with. What do the feminines want to say? My nose is starting to itch all of a sudden. So the feminines have faith. Have faith, you know, give it to higher power and, and just continue doing your work and, you know, um, keep moving forward. What do the feminines want to say to the masculines? What do the feminines want to say to the masculines? Okay. I let my doubts and fears get the best of me. So for some of the feminines, you know, maybe, and that's what they've been suppressing. Um, I don't want to keep hurting you. You know, maybe for, I'm kind of seeing that the Divine Feminine has been suppressing the way that they have felt about the Divine Masculine. And I think that they realize, like, maybe, you know, if you've seen your Divine Masculine, maybe this person um, doesn't even, or thinks that maybe you've moved on. My life has changed so much since meeting you. Yeah, this Divine Feminine has been working on this. Uh, she's got new friends. She's got new groups. She probably has a new career or she's really building upon her career. Uh, her faith has changed. Um, her whole demeanor. I mean, this Divine Feminine is sexy. I mean, she was worth a lot before. You are definitely worth something even more now. Three more. Okay, one I am so grateful for you. See what I was talking about at the beginning, finding that gratitude from within and two more spirit. Okay. I fear that if you get too close, you will hurt me. I think that that's just something that, you know, I think the feminines, if you, the masculine does come in um, and if the masculine has ghosted them in the past, I think that the feminines are wor really worried that the masculines may do it again. Yeah, I pushed you away because I was scared. So if the feminines pushed you away, it was because they were afraid of what was going on within them. And, you know, if the masculine wasn't really showing anything and, you know, was working on addiction issues and things like that, maybe it was a trigger from things that they had been through in the past and it was things that they were suppressing. And I feel like, um, you know, in the past, if you had a toxic relationship, um, the divine masculine trying to stay within his comfort zone or, you know, not moving beyond the limits with you, I think was a big trigger uh, in the past. And so for a lot of you, the divine feminine walked away and for others of you, it was vice versa. But no one makes me feel the way you do.
So this is a very beautiful reading, you guys. Um, you know, if you know who your divine masculine is, I feel like the two of you are definitely working together for the same common goal at this time. I think that there's a lot of fears um, to overcome. And I feel like the two of you are definitely working on, you know, building new friendship groups and things like that and definitely learning a lot about each other as well as other the other parties and I feel like getting rid of anything that is no longer serving a purpose in your life at this time um, and uh, and going through this awakening together I definitely feel like the two of you see each other as a gift and if you don't I feel like you need, really need to look at your masculine and ask yourself am I with the person that I'm supposed to be with and if not you know what you can do to change it so that you can be in alignment with all of these things that we've talked about here today so you guys if this sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading please feel free to check the description box down below there you'll find the link to my website thefootstepstopeace.com also like share and subscribe you know I appreciate it hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and we'll chat again real soon. Take care.